Yo, what up, guys? All right, so today, all right, so today we're gonna be talking about descri- descriptive adjectives. So, so, so you guys are, so you guys might have already seen a video of me talking about possessive adjectives. If you guys have, if you guys have not seen that, go check out my Spanish playlist. But yeah, but today's gonna be a little bit different. Today we're not gonna, we're not gonna be talking about possessive adjectives we're gonna, be, we're gonna be talking about descriptive adjectives so yeah so before i get into it if you guys have not subscribed yet if you guys have not subscribed yet make sure you do that because i'm almost at four thousand subscribers and 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 i'm upload and i'm uploading a new spanish lesson like literally like every single day so or or if not or if not like every other every other day so yeah guys so I'd say without further ado, let's get into the lesson. All right. So descriptive adjectives usually mean usually mean like you're describing something or someone. So for example, so for example, so if, all right. So let's say I'm gonna, I'm I'm going to describe myself. All right. So let's say I'm let's say I wanted to describe my hair. So my hair so my hair is brown. So so if I wanted to say I have brown hair, I would say. Tengo el pelo castaño. Now hold up. Notice how I notice how I said castaño and not marron or café. Because marron or café, which either one you prefer, is the actual Spanish translation for the color brown. But when you're describing something like 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 when you're describing hair, like hair color, in in the color of your hair is brown, you don't say tengo el uh you don't say tengo el el uh, uh, pelo marrón or tengo el pelo uh, café, no, you say tengo el pelo castaño. So yeah, so just to get that out of the way, all right. So next up, let's describe my eye, my eye color. Now my eye color is hazel. So if I wanted to say, I have hazel eyes, I would say this. Tengo ojos de color avellana. I'm, I'm going to say it again. Tengo ojos, which means eyes, de color avellana, which means hazel. It's the color hazel. So I have hazel eyes. Tengo which means I have ojos, which means eyes, and and de color, uh, and and then and then de color, uh, de and then de color, and then avellana, which means hazel. So, so, so yeah. So that's pretty much all you're doing to to uh to to. To describe someone, and now like this is very very useful because uh, because uh, because like you know like uh because you probably got be, be, because you guys have probably seen this seen this a lot like in movies or like in real life or whatever, but, like you know like but like ignore the crying, ignore the crying in the background, but but like but but like you know like when a police asks for a dis but for 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 a description of the suspect. You have to name, you have to name, uh, you have to give them key details about what they look like. So a full in depth, a uh, description about what they look like. It doesn't matter what could it, it, it does it, it, it doesn't matter what it could be. It could be hair color. It could be eye color. It could be the color of their shirt. So for example, it, 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 so for example, if the suspect has an orange shirt, uh, to, uh, it, and, 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 and if I wanted to say he has hazel eyes and a orange shirt, I would, I would say this. El tiene, uh, uh, el tiene ojos. De color uh, avellana 
y una una uh, Oh, dude, did I already, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm, tr I'm, tr I'm trying to think here, I'm trying to think here. Okay, okay, I got it. Hold up, guys. I, 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 uh, hold up. Uh, I was, ha I, I, I was having a thinking session for a moment. All right, so I, I would say this. I would say this. Él tiene ojos, ojos de color avellana. E, e, uh, e una anaranjada, uh, uh, camisa, which means he has hazel eyes and a orange shirt. So yeah, guys, so that's pretty much what you have to do if you, if you, if you want to practice the, uh, uh, de descriptive adjectives, you know, think about your sentence in English, then try to translate it into Spanish. So, so yeah, guys, I, so yeah, guys, so that's the end of the lesson, and I'm going to be posting a gaming video later tonight, and there is a basketball game on Saturday at, at 4 p.m., but I'm not too sure if I'm going to go or not, but, but if I'm not, then, okay, cool, I, I gotta go feed the animals, all right, I'm making a video, okay, all right, all right, all right, like, guys, like I said, if I do go, then cool, then, then cool, I'll, I'll record it for you guys. But if I don't, that's okay. You, you guys will still get a video on that day. So, yeah, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.